states. He talks about uh, microbursts and wind gusts and things of that nature. David. Thanks, John. Not all wind damage is accomplished as the same. Some is from tornadoes and a lot from straight line winds. But there is another type of wind that can tear things down. It's called a microburst. What is it? No, it's not your toddler having a fit because they didn't get their way. Instead, it's a localized column of sinking air, also called a downdraft, within a thunderstorm. It's usually no more than two and a half miles in diameter. And although micro is in the word, the damage it can cause is anything but small. So what causes a microburst? It starts with a developing thunderstorm as water droplets and hailstones are suspended within the updraft. The stronger the updraft, the more water and hail is trapped inside the storm. When factors occur that weaken the updraft and it can no longer support the core of suspended precipitation, the water and hailstones are released and plummet towards the ground. As this burst of liquid and, ice, liquid and ice hits the ground, it spreads out in all directions. The location directly under the microburst experiences the highest winds and most damage. Damage from this severe phenomenon can range from scattering of patio furniture and toppled fences like what occurred two days ago in Western Hastings to manufactured homes being destroyed, as you can see. There's nothing micro about what it can do. More local four to come after the break. Stick around.